So what I want to do here, I want to call that uh, label and set its text to be equal to some kind of a message that I want. Okay, so this is what I want to do right now. Let us just make sure we get the name right. It's called the status message label. So going back to the source, status message label dot yep, dot set text and then I will write in it I will write error please enter data okay so just a, a general message okay else that means the user actually did enter something which means this will not execute but this will execute if we click the button many times the label will have this message let's take a look at it so I will play this no errors I will enter something Samer I will test no problem but I get rid of the content here I will test error please enter data so we see this uh, label in the status pane and um, this is exactly uh, what I wanted the user to see right now if I try to fix the problem and enter something and say test again even though I'm not getting a problem anymore but I did not do anything with the old message so I need to clean it this is the code that I will write in the else statement so I will just copy this and just set it to be empty again like it was initially so I will run it again test error please enter data and then enter something it's now empty so basically in a very simple way I dealt with uh, the problem that uh, might happen and I did that by using an if statement which is not a, a very practical way of dealing with errors instead we will use the uh, proper error handling method used in java and object oriented programming in general which is called exception handling and for that we will use a, a technique called the try and catch the try catch is a very simple uh, conditional logic you try to do something okay if it works no problem it works you do it however if it doesn't work because of some kind of an unexpected error then you deal with it you catch it okay so let us take a look at this for a second I will go to the design okay and I will add a new text field and I will make it the same size and I will get rid of the content remember the name J text field 2 okay and right now I'll go back to the source here I did not hit enter so go back to the source and right now what I want to do I want to collect the information again but this information will be an integer so I expect some integer data numeric data from the user so what I want to do if you remember from last time I want to parse that content that the user will put into an integer okay let's do that first of all I will collect the data I need an integer so int 
let's call it x is equal to j sorry j text field two dot get text okay however when we get the text it's not really um, going to fit into a variable of a type integer because I'm getting back a string so basically I need to parse it to parse it if you remember I want I need the integer wrapper class dot parse int and let me just fix the braces here and just whatever I'm getting from the user I'm going to parse it okay so let's try to run this now here I will write my name to avoid any problem with the first field and here I will write s which is of course a non-numeric data as soon as I click this button I get all kind of errors in the output pane and of course I need to fix that so I will close this and I will take a look at my code one more time you see what I'm trying to do again the keyword trying here I'm trying to parse whatever the user enters into an integer but of course as I just showed you this did not work uh, because the user entered uh, non-numeric data so what I need to do is to use the try catch block to fix this I will just cut this content because I will need it just in a second okay and this is what I will do I will say try so the keyword try and it has its block try to do something if it works fine otherwise go ahead and catch an exception this is the exception class and we can call it anything we want let's call it e okay so you can see it's a similar logic to the if else however this is the proper way because I can actually capture the kind of error and this is something that can be discussed later for now I will try to parse what the user entered if it worked fine otherwise go ahead and enter this message so let's say error numeric data only okay so I will write that and I will try to run it here I don't want to face any problem with this one here I want to write s and I will test it and it's not working I have some kind of an error I need to find it let's go back okay so basically try and get the content of this put it in X field 2 if it works fine otherwise status message label 1 dot set text numeric data only and of course I have a problem here because my logic here is clearing the message the label so I will just get rid of that for now and I run it again 